appreciate all of you who were with us. We have the eclectic group, as usual, here in Casey, discussing various political views, uh, community uh, service events that are coming up. So take a look at the, the video that follows, and you'll see an interesting discussion. Here on the wall, we have the Bill West Award that was presented last week to Bill West. Hopefully, he'll be with us again next week. He's here in spirit with us, nonetheless. Freedom, Integrity, Service. That defines Bill West. And if you're visiting South Carolina, drop by the Shawnee's Restaurant and Airport Boulevard here in Casey, South Carolina. Until next week, Steve Eisen signing off. Thanks. What is a law? What is a law? Bill Burbage. Okay, go ahead, Bill. Let me tell you what a law is. Write this down. Don't forget it. A law is an observed regularity of phenomena. That's the whole ball of wax. Whatever. That means that if you see when certain conditions occur, certain consequences follow. Yep. Always. Gravity is a good example. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. Laws are self-contained, automatic. They don't need any enforcement because they cannot be violated. How do you violate the law of gravity? You can't. 186,000. Now, if there is a law of supply and demand, there's only three possible prices for anything. Anybody know what they are? Yeah. Let me give you one of them. Too high. Too high, too low, just right. Market. The market price does not need any enforcement. It's automatic. It's self contained. But when you come along and put a price and fix prices because you don't like the market price, now that becomes a man's rule. It needs enforcement right. because the black market comes in and says, oh, we're not going to sell at that price. The whole essence of medical care in this country is price control. Mm -hmm. If you don't have price controls, you don't have any medical care because that's the whole, the whole basis for it. Now, is the price of houses in this country too high or too low? Depends on they're what they you're buying or selling. Always. It's the market now. No, what tells you? The market. Well, I, I guess you'd In other words, if the market right price now. obtains, it brings supply and demand into balance. If supply and demand are not balanced, then they're either too high or too low. And how do you know yeah. which it is? Well, they're too high because they're not selling. Yes, Look right. around. That's right. If you've got a supply. long line of people trying to buy something and it ain't there, the price is too yeah. low. On the other hand, if you've got a large surplus on the market and nobody wants it, the price is too high. What's that telling you about the price of housing? Too high. Too high. What about the price of medical care? Too low. Too low. On the other hand, the government thinks the price of medical care is too high. And everything that they're doing to try to to try to lower that price is raising. Well, it depends on which price you're talking about now. Because the insurance companies get one price, and if I go in and pay out of pocket, I get a different price. So yeah, so it, I, if you took the insurance companies out of the picture, it, that would be one way, one way among other ways. One way among many that would allow the market price to be achieved. Uh, insurance companies, through through protection of regulatory structure, is able to drive the prices down artificially lower. Well, but if you want to provide a service and you don't want to, uh, you don't have the political capital to raise taxes enough to pay for it, then you have to to do some shenanigans. No, you have to pay the price or not. I mean, that. Well, you don't um, that yeah, doesn't work that way. That that way. That politics, seems, you have to put no subsidies. Well, yeah, I'm not talking about what is now. I'm talking about yeah. philosophically the way it should be. And that, that is, course, there should yeah. not be any fulcrum, uh, excuse me, any lever. Well, you don't uh, win elections that way. Do what? You don't win elections that way. I know. You want elections by saying, I'm going to give you free health care. Right. I'm, I'm going to take care of you. You have a right to medical care. Right. Poor thing. <laughs> well, vote for me. I Bless care. Your heart. I care. <laughs> Trust I do. Me. And the thing is, if the price went up, if the price went up, the supply uh, would increase. The supply, you have having a shortage the of price, doctors and nurses. The price and performs two very important functions. One of them is it allocates the distribution of the profit. Right. It rations the profit. Right. What's the other? 
if we turn off the supply. It diverts the flow of capital into those areas where it's most needed. And how do you know that? Try the price. Yeah. Well, not so everybody wants the price to get well, out. When there. you destroy these functions, which is what medical care is doing. Right. What do uh, lawyers, doctors, and real estate agents have in common? They're whores. Well, no, they they uh, they have government set up to stifle their competition. Right. Well, there's, there's just about every industry does and, now. And, and lawyers and, and doctors are much better. Yeah, hairdressers. Yeah. You know, any any anything that requires a any, license. Any anybody that has food vendors in in Columbia. Yeah. People that have a restaurant. You know, that you can't push a hot dog cart down on Main Street because you can't get a license to do it because they made sure that the ordinances didn't allow you to have food carts down there because there was too much competition. They didn't have enough overhead. They could compete too well with the restaurants down there. And, and if anybody it's thinks that any of these licenses are to protect consumers, oh, God. No. <laughs> Well, I, I can't wait to see myself on YouTube. I ran it uh, <laughs> I read where there was, I don't remember which state, I want to say it was Wisconsin, but there was a, a doctor who decided that he was going to no longer accept insurance, Medicare, Medicaid. He was going to run strictly on a cash basis. And he dropped medical costs dramatically. I mean, a medical exam would cost you like $70. A regular visit would cost you like thirty, and uh, and his business naturally picked up, and uh, and the city uh, threatened to close him down unless he raised his prices back up to where the other doctors in town had their prices. Listen, the best example of this is, is I'm I'm from Florence originally, and we have the the uh, magnet there called Sexton Dental Clinic. Where you see people lining up, they're out there before the place opens, lined up around the block. Is that the and, place that makes dentures? Yep. And, and one day, one day turn around dentures. I've heard of them, yeah. Yep. And, and they, but they do all uh, yeah, the dental care and everything too. It's not just, you know, but but they and they have built their business on, you know, having the lower price. Yeah, you know, they, they, they hit a niche and that they can do your dentures in a day, but but it's they, they don't, they don't, they accept health insurance on that stuff. But, they, it's it's an example of, of how they've uh, found a, a, a way to, to, to make a huge profit with lower price. You know, it's you work off volume. Mm -hmm. do it volume. The Walmart of dentistry. Yes, mm -hmm. Sam's Club. Yep. In, in the medical industry, there's all these rules about what what you have to what you can't do if you're not a doctor. As a matter of fact, I mean certainly rules in the real estate business too. Um, I have my sister-in-law over at the office the other day uh, doing some research for me. If you called my office and asked me what a price of a listing was, she couldn't have told you. She would have been breaking South Carolina law if she told you what the price of one of my listings was. Really? Well, you have to have a license in South Carolina to tell somebody what the price of a house is. That's right. I used to have a The government thinks that you're, you're going to hurt somebody if you tell somebody what the price of a house is if you don't have a real estate license. And of course, it's much worse in the legal profession. But we're free. Thank God for this free country we live in. Yeah. Um, no, we're not free. We, it, it, it costs money. <laughs> so that, that, that's the kind of thing. If, if we would let um, um, nurses and people with even less training do things that require... We need to let ourselves. I mean, I, listen, I, I'm, I can figure out what prescri prescriptions I need. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to go to a doctor to tell them to have them tell me you need an antibiotic or you need. Uh, look, I can figure that out. And if you're visiting South Carolina, drop by the Shawnee's Restaurant on Airport Boulevard here in Casey, South Carolina. Till next week, Steve Eisen signing off. Thanks.